Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 31st, October 31st. Now, this could go into the next couple of days. All right, the timing is fluid. This is for all signs. The daily vibes are for all signs. I get questions underneath sometimes. Who's this for? It's for whoever it resonates with. It's for somebody, not everybody, okay? So we're just going to see whatever comes up. Happy Halloween. Ten of Cups. King of Coins. King of Pentacles. The Fool reversed. Oh, lack of faith. That ain't good. Ooh. The Five of Swords. The Emperor, the Lovers, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, fast moving energy, huh? Something is happening very quickly. And the Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody's being cut out. That's what I wanted to say, but I stopped myself. I wanted to get the rest of the cards. There could be some ties that are being severed Once and for all. There's something going on behind the scenes. There's something you don't know. There's a hidden force. It is Halloween after all. The portal is open, right? The veil is being taken off, perhaps? There could be a completion to something that really made you happy at one time. There could be a completion. Tens are completions, right? Whatever is happening today, tomorrow, is going to lead to happiness. But before you get to that extreme happiness, there's something that you don't know. There's something going on. There's something hidden that needs to be, that needs to end, okay? It needs to end. Oh, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed in the tower. Son of a gun. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not, it doesn't look good. So, no offense, some people are probably clicking off at this point because they are living in fantasy land and they only want to hear what is good. That's not reality. The moon card would suggest that I would like to escape the reality of anything that isn't positive. But that's not reality. That's not reality. That's escapism. So, there is some conflicts, okay? There's some conflicts here, unfortunately. Um, pride and ego get in the way of change, of accepting change. Somebody hasn't been listening to their inner guide, even though 
Their inner guide has been speaking to them. They haven't been listening. And when you don't listen, you probably lose faith because you're not getting the answers that you need because you're not listening. Right? Right? There's an opportunity to take back control of your life. To bring back structure, stability, and security. But before that happens, somebody's going to need to take a risk. And they're going to need to really listen. And they haven't been doing that. Trying to escape reality of what happiness really is. We have an unexpected choice here with the Lover's Cards, an unexpected connection that is so deep that it can't be denied. But perhaps somebody is afraid to take a risk in that direction. Because they're trying to protect themselves. They may be trying to protect their family even. I mean, that's what the emperor does. The emperor is a protector and we have this family up here. Somebody may be trying to protect their family by staying in a situation that is... kind of like a fantasy. This situation is unreal. I mean, that's what the moon card is. It's unreal. It looks as though something is happening very, very quickly in which you are going to need your strength, your confidence, your willpower, and your discipline. to take risks and probably start over. And starting over is scary. It is scary. And somebody is afraid. They're afraid to start over. Perhaps they're in a commitment now that is unfulfilling and they're staying out of pride, ego, you know. If you look at this, I mean, they're mirroring each other. And this is the commitment that's unreal. Okay, it's not real. It's not happy. But my ego and my pride says that I have to stay because it's stable, it's secure, and I need to I need to protect everybody involved but myself. That's for somebody. This right here is severing ties, both of these two. Somebody, there could be some sort of drastic cut that happens very quickly because somebody finds their It's almost like ambition, you know, they, they, they take the lead. It is, this is both, these are both taking the lead. Somebody decides to take the lead because this connection is so real. So it feels like today is a day where there's a completion of one 
perhaps legacy. One family dynamic where something comes to a head It's something that you don't expect, put it that way. You don't you may not expect that the time is now, but the time is now that the truth comes out. And whatever whatever this whatever happens, it happens, it could be really harsh. Could cause some anger, could cause some bitterness. It looks like Somebody has finally found their confidence. To no longer stay put. We have a union between a man and a woman. That is coming about. That is not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. It's not who you think it is. Okay? This person is not who you think it is, but there's going to it's going to happen quickly. There's going to be an instant magnetic attraction that is probably going to lead you down a new direction. Towards a soulmate. Now, this looks like, I don't know if this is like heaven or what. You see, this is the emperor, but you see all the gold. It reminds me of the gates. It does. It reminds me of the gates. So, in this, in, in one of my other decks, this is Nate labeled the Lord. So, I'm wondering if there's a divinely guided change in a family dynamic that makes you feel... Like this is heaven sent. Somebody is needing to find their courage. To step outside of their pride and ego. And head in the direction that is going to make them happy. Instead of trying to escape reality. Which somebody has been trying to do. This day may seem a little uncomfortable. Okay? It may be a little uncomfortable. I'm just going to go ahead and take these. Because somebody has been trying to fight destiny, trying to fight it, trying to fight change. Keeping on that veil, remember I said the veil is being taken off. The veil is absolutely being taken off, whether you like it or not. Somebody has been trying to avoid a disaster, trying to avoid disruption. By staying in a unhappy situation. But now you can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid it anymore. Because that mask, that veil. The lies. Are going to be brought to the surface. Because it's time to bring back structure. It's time to take the lead. It's time to be your own boss. I feel like somebody has been ignoring and trying to block their true feelings for quite some time. 
Because of fear. Fear of sacrifice, fear of loss, fear of the unknown. Trying to control the outcome, seriously. Trying to control their fate. Well, don't we all, right? We all do. But you can't escape from reality forever. I feel like there's a there's an end of a commitment here in which somebody knew that it was coming. They tried to control it. They tried to stay in it, even though it was very unfulfilling. The universe has brought a new connection into the mix. This connection is undeniable, and it can't be ignored. Somebody has been afraid to take a risk. And perhaps now things are happening very, very quickly. What is, whatever has been hidden is about to become known. One cycle that has been, somebody has been, this is a cycle and this is a cycle. Somebody has been reluctant to let a cycle end. No shit. Because it's comfortable, it's stable, and it's secure. But there's no... Faith in it. But it's time for that cycle to end. It's time to begin again. So there's definitely some, some major changes on the horizon. Where one phase of your life is ending. It is. And it does have to do with a relationship. This is a completion of a relationship that somebody has been... Pretending that they are happy and trying to protect everybody, the family, themselves. Somebody has been trying to protect people. But now there's this unexpected arrival that forces you to take that mask off and stop sacrificing yourself. It's out of your control, even though you think it's in your control. At this point, it's out of your control. There's hidden forces here. The universe, God, angels, whatever, they're in control of this. The planetary aspects, the universe, okay, is in control. And if you fight it, you will be brought down. Eventually. By trying to fight destiny. By trying to cling to control. That's what this is. Reverse. Real fortune. is somebody trying to cling to control. Trying to control destiny. You will be brought down. Somebody is either finding the courage or needing to find the courage to allow this change of course and take a risk. The more you fight it, the more it's going to cut and hurt. No kidding. It will hurt more if you fight it. Strong. 
strength, courage, confidence, discipline, willpower. To face your fears. Somebody hasn't been believing in themselves. It's time for you to face your illusions, face your fear, fears, and step out of this space of confusion. You're allowing it. There's a choice between two options. There's a choice between two paths. Somebody has to make a painful, stressful decision to leave something that is no longer fulfilling. That's what this is. There's a, there's a new contract on the horizon that is better suited once somebody faces their fears. And I really feel like you will be facing your fears whether you like it or not. There's been a lack of emotion. And somebody may have their heart too set on someone who is literally emotionally unavailable. You need to you need to stop trying you need to stop sacrificing yourself for whoever this person is that doesn't love you and I know that is harsh you can't control it it's out of your control Or maybe this is you that is no longer in love with the person you're with. Somebody has fallen out of love and they're staying in a situation just because it's stable and safe. And I'm so sick of this story, but it is what it is. And the time is now to take off that mask and stop pretending that this is happily ever after. Especially when there's somebody that is better suited for you, like right there. I mean there. That person is in sight. But as long as you block them from coming in by being in denial, you will continue to suffer. It's time to break free. And drop that baggage, drop those burdens, free yourself. This is, this is too much, it's overwhelming. This is another completion. It's an ending, tens, completions. We have a completion here 
that is coming about another one. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. We have an ending that is coming about because there's something better waiting. Fighting it is going to bring you more stress, more resentment, more anger, and more trouble. So I feel like today is a day of somebody perhaps taking the lead because that veil gets taken off. Somebody is going to be probably forced or maybe not even forced. Maybe they just realize it's time for me to face my fears. So be prepared for some sort of major change that is going to lead you down a new path towards, this is like towards a true soulmate connection. But right now this true soulmate connection is being blocked. And that's what's happening. Because somebody's trying to protect their themselves, okay? Trying to protect themselves. But this new connection is so strong that it really can't be denied. It, it's being denied and it's being pushed down and somebody's sacrificing themselves for a false situation, whatever, a false contract. But it can only last for so long, right? So I feel like there's a swift, fast-moving energy that is coming in, that is going to, you know, make you face your fears. And we got to look at what's, the, 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 what's marrying each other. We have some fears, some illusions, some fantasy, something that you have been trying to escape from that is now at the surface. <laughs> I mean, that's what's going on here. It can't be escaped. It's, it's real. This shit is real. There could be a breakup with that Hierophant card reversed. Because this ain't love. It's not love. And somebody's probably going to get cut out. So I'm sorry, this is not what a lot of, you know, some of the, all those people out there that only want to hear the positive. Well, that ain't reality. Take off your mask. For those of you that, that only want to hear the positive. <laughs> I mean, hey. You can't grow stronger like that. You can't. That's weakness. That's weakness. You need adversity. You do. You need to hear the truth, even if it hurts to grow. So, I mean, hey. Inner trust. Number two, faith and trust. And somebody has totally lacked faith in themselves. And they haven't been listening with these two cards. This is a card of faith. This is a card of faith. They're both reversed. Somebody has lost faith in themselves. Not listening to their inner guide. Somebody has not been listening to their inner guide. They're not listening to what they're supposed to do. And therefore, it's because of ego. Pride. What's everybody going to say? That's a hard lesson to learn. Most people don't learn it until they're way older. Comes with wisdom. 
Some younger people learn it, but they, you know, whatever. Faith and trust. Oh, it says inner trust. Sorry. Though it may be cloaked and hidden within you, lies natural magnific magnificence, vibrancy, and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. The oracle, this oracle, brings you the message that it's time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. Told you that veil was being lifted. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition in your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love and you sometimes what you sense will be love and you will open your heart and move easily towards the source of that love. Be it the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you deeply care about or want to pursue, or a spiritual or creative practice that you are keen to explore. Sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or in the situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you have drawn this card because you are unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear. <laughs> Oh, we knew that was the case, didn't we? We absolutely did. Or lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself or in the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. The oracle of inner trust comes to you with this guidance. You know what you are doing. You have enough wisdom and intuition to be able to place yourself more fully in the world. To take steps to unhide yourself. Even if you feel you have no clue about what is happening at a broader level in your life. Even if you can't quite see the whole picture of what is taking place within or around you. You still have all the wisdom and intuitive ability you need to take one step at a time and navigate your way through absolutely anything that life brings to your door. If you have been thinking of taking a leap of faith and doing things differently, whether in your personal life or your creative work, then this oracle brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. <laughs> this oracle comes at a time when the patterns in your life are shifting. You can take advantage of this leap this shift into an entirely le new level of consciousness and experience. This is not a time for self-doubt or playing small. It is a time to get in touch with the courage. We talked about this under here. I lost my place. Boldness and daredevil within. And take that step, big or small, into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we have known and begin to soar into a new life. There's, a, there's an opportunity for a whole new life here. But somebody's going to have, remember I said lack of faith and lack of, they don't have, come on now. It's time to find that faith. So that you can be the best you that you are supposed to be. To hell with what everybody else has to say. Stop hiding your true self from the world. It's time to face your fears. For real.
Good luck.